Uh, hey guys, so today we're gonna be doing question 1.2 from the November 2020 question paper. So here they tell us that we must calculate the trading stock deficit looking at information B, E, right? So what's trading stock deficit? Let's start there. So trading stock deficit, right? What is trading stock deficit? So we have two concepts, right? We have a concept called the theoretical theoretical stock so this is how much stock we have according to our books right remember whenever we buy stock whenever we sell stock we update our books so theoretical stock is how much is stock is how much stock we have according to our books and then we have uh, actual stock as the name suggests this is the stock on hand according to physical stock count so when you go and do a physical stock count we count how much stock we have that's like actual stock right so that's the key difference theoretically it's how much stock we have according to our books and actual is how much stock we have according to a physical stock count, stock we can see in our warehouse or whatever. So a trading stock deficit is when your theoretical stock is greater than actual stock, meaning that the stock that's missing, right? So stock missing. So according to our books, we're supposed to have this much stock, but we have less according to the physical stock count, meaning that the stock missing. So that's a trading stock deficit. That's what we require to calculate over here, right? So we go to information uh, B, E, right? So information B, they say trading stock is valued on the weighted average method. So this is very key because it tells us what value or let me just say at what at what amount are we going to value each unit so weighted average method basically tells us at what amount are we going to value each unit right so we go to they say the ledger account and records reflect 280 units so this is your theoretical stock so this is how much stock we have according to our books we have 280 units right and they say however the physical stock count reflects 262 on hands you see that actual stock so now you see that okay your theoretical it's 280 which is greater than your actual, which is 262. Therefore, you have a trading stock deficit. For how many units? When you say 280 minus 262 is equal to, let me just take my calculator. So you say 280 minus 262, that's 18 units. So we have a trading stock deficit or 18 units missing right so now we have to go and value those 18 units at how much or or at what value do we value this 18 units how at, at at what value right so we need to go and calculate a cost per unit and we're going to use the weighted average method so with weighted average method what we basically do is we look for the total value of uh, the stock that's available for sale during the year so how you get that total value is basically the value of the stock that was there at the beginning you add all the stock that was purchased and then you subtract the returns so the returns are returns to supplier right so the stock that we return to supplier so overall the available stock for sale was at the value of eight one hundred eight million one hundred thousand and those were 2,000 units. So when you say 200 minus this 1,840, no. 200 plus 1,840 minus this one, you get this 2,000, which is the available for sale stock. And then you go and say, okay, that means your cost per 
unit is equal to the total value which is eight million one hundred thousand over the two thousand units right and then you get the cost per unit of let me just punch my calculator of 4050 right therefore your trading stock deficit is at a value of those 18 units times the 4050 and then you get 72,900. So this is the total value of the trading stock deficit or the stock that's missing. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, you like, and then you comment. Tell me what you think. And if you want to join my master classes, make sure that you click on the link below to join the WhatsApp group. And if you want to book for the exclusive master classes, also click on the link below and you'll get the link to the exclusive master classes. Thank you. And one last thing I forgot to mention is this trading stock deficit is going to go to your income statement. Income statement under uh, your operating expenses as trading stock deficit because it's a loss. You lost money as this stock is missing. It has been stolen or anything. So it's going to go into your operating expenses as trading stock deficit.